step and a long step. Okay, why does that stand up? Okay, so again, if I'm this close, I know I can do the little short step, which is your front foot. Okay? Um, oh, go ahead and put your, your right leg forward, sorry. I'm going to constructively set up my, my, my partner so it's, it's good. I'm going to have them practice the short step. So his foot's, right foot's forward, my left foot's forward. Same, same. Okay? So first, I want to be as close as possible. I'm going to do this grab, and then I'm going to touch his belly button. Because we are in this system, I can easily touch his belly button. If it's in the other body settings, I couldn't. Okay? So we're... We're doing it as a good visual, okay? That's why I set it up this way. So he's at a good angle I can actually touch. So again, initially, I'm not stepping. So I'm here, boop, boop. And you want to keep yourself long. Because the longer you are, the more pull you have. Okay, if you initially grab and you're already short here, you're not going to have much of a pull. And if you're longer, that's actually a better position to be. If I don't like it, I can just go away, okay? You get close, they can grab it, theoretically. Okay. So again, so now we're going to practice the knee with this clinch. That's what I'm trying to put together. Okay. So I grab, bump, bump, boom. So can I put my knee on this belly button? I have a good grip here, and I want to be a ballerina. The south emphasizes allowing the heel to go towards the target. Boom. When that happens, it adds almost a foot more to your strike. I don't feel that, but I know it's effective, okay? So that's what you want to try to do. So again, I'm here. I'm going to do it two times. So I grab, boom, boom, and then he'll do it to me. Stay down there. Boom. Yes. See? He automatically does it. I don't automatically do that. Very good. Step again. So he's already stepping, okay? You want to slowly go into it. You can not step and start stepping, and then we'll do a power step next. But remember, same leg, so you're at a good angle to do your belly button touch. Go, try. Okay, so again, we practice as a knee strike where we don't step, and then we do, okay. We practice as a knee strike, just here. You find your pivot spot, then you back up a little bit, and now you're stepping. Now you fully step back, okay? So you're used to that spot, but you gotta find it when you're actually fighting, right? So now I'm here, now I'm gonna fully step here. So I'm walking to my opponent. I fully step here, grab, grab, boom. So I teach a one, two, a one, two step. So you get used to this step. So I'm here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so now you do it to me. One, Two, one, two. Now remember the foot you step with, grab this hand. One, two, one, two. Excellent. So we'll do it again. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Again, you see me reaching. I'm reaching to protect myself, okay? Do it again. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. That is the power outside need in, in Thailand. You just got to practice it. You practice against the bag. Now, I don't see I don't see any ties doing the monkey grabbing hands. They just slap. Okay, so fighting stance again. So they're just thinking I'm walking through this guy. So I'm here. Wham. So I'm slapping here instead of grabbing. Okay, so I'm here. Boom. So my knee is going at the same time because I'm walking through him. So I'm here, I'm going through him. So it gets pretty intimidating if you're fighting a taller guy that knows how to do this. But I'm gonna show you the block right now. It's really easy, okay? You don't get intimidated like, like some of the times, like here I come, I'm coming. Oh shoot, he's gonna do this big knee. I'm gonna eat it. It's easy. So I step here and I'm gonna do it. All he's gotta do is push is my chest. So watch. So I'm here. <laughs> I go back. Or you see him power stepping into you, just push kick, right? That's the number one thing as foreigners that I teach the foreigners to do against the ties. Is because their bones are harder. 
you, they kick you and you block it, you still lose. It's thing it hurts. But if you push kick on that timing, you can knock them off or keep them away. That's why I'm really...